This is the most important car modeling tutorial that you ever see. And I know I said this in the last video, but this one is more important. Here's what's going to happen in this video. You know when you're modeling a car and it's got all these weird panels and all this shit that you can't figure out how to shape because it's halfway an organic shape and it's cut out in all these weird ways and how the fuck do you create these? Well, I'm going to show you the easiest way that you can do this, right? So if you use this tool, there's no reason why you shouldn't be able to make a damn near perfect model of a car, especially the exterior part, okay? So this is probably one of the most powerful organic modeling tools. And I know I also said this shit in the last video, but this is more powerful. This is a better version of what I discussed in the last video, but go check that one out as well, okay? If you ever tried to use loop tools, you then you understand that loop tools are probably one of the most important set of tools in Blender when it comes to modeling, okay? And there's one particular loop tool that I thought was useless, but it's more useful than all the others, okay? If you don't know what I'm talking talking about go up here to edit preferences add-ons type in loop all right check this little box and now when you go to edit mode and you press w you're gonna have this little menu up here called loop tools you have all these different tools in there i talked about every single one of these tools at the end of my ebook so if you want to see that go check that shit out i also have a video where i talked about loop tools so also check that out if you can't find this menu called loop tools over here when you press w because i know blender updates every fucking month and they change the shortcuts i don't know why they do this that's why i use blender 3.6 i don't, I don't want to deal with the change shortcuts i just use the old school shit if you can't find this menu then just in edit mode press n to toggle this little bar on the side okay and you're gonna have this box called edit that's loop tools over here and it's the same shit as what i get when i press w loop tools okay you just have the loop tools right here so i'm going to first subdivide this plane and again if you don't have w you can find this in mesh subdivide somewhere over here or edge subdivide or whatever it's somewhere over here and now once you subdivided this now you can very easily turn this into whatever type of curved surface you want. It's super easy. Here's how it's going to work, all right? Here's what the curve tool does, all right? You take two edges on an edge loop. So we're talking about this edge loop right now as an example, but I'm gonna show you how this can control the rest of the surface as well, all right? We're going to take two edges like this, let's say. You can take any two edges, but just take, take approximately one third apart, okay? And you're going to lift those edges up. And now when you press W, curve, Blender turns this edge loop into a curve that runs from the beginning of the edge loop to the end of the edge loop and through the two vertices which we just lifted up. Okay, so those are called the control points, I think. And you also have some extra settings down here where you can control the influence. You can control whether it's linear or not. When you slide this down, it reduces the effect. When you turn this on, it becomes more sharp like a bridge or something. Anyway, you can fuck with this a little bit. Try to explore. You're going to find some cool shit. So the point here is that you can do this not only with single edge loops, but you can also do this with entire surfaces, okay? So watch what happens. I can also take two points on the other side over here, loop tools curve, and then I'm going to take another edge loop in the middle here, and I'm going to push that one down, loop tools curve, or loop tools curve, I pressed circle on accident. So now we can use these three curved edge loops to define the surface of the entire fucking plane, okay? So watch what happens. Instead of just going from one dimension, which are vertices, into two dimensions, which are the edge loop, we can go from two dimensions, which are edge loops, into three dimensions, which is the whole fucking surface, all right? So select these edge loops, W, loop tools, curve, and the entire surface takes a shape which perfectly follows these three curves that we have selected over here, okay? And now you can adjust this to whatever shape you're making on a car, whatever organic surface you're making, anything that you can think of. You can just very easily define the surface very precisely by just using this method, okay? It's super accurate. It's probably one of the most important organic modeling tools that exists in Blender, all right? So let me know if this is helpful for you. Show me on Discord if you create some cool shit with this, all right? Let me know what you want to see next, and I'll see you in the next one.